This is the prolific teaching ministry of Apostle Tulua Gola, the lead pastor of His Worship Christian Network. Brace yourself and experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. My emphasis is in the A part. And God said, let us make man in our image, and after our likeness, and let them have dominion. Somebody say, let them have dominion. That first part of the communication will have sufficed. It will have been sufficient. It's a communication that establishes the understanding that God had a design. And his design, if accurately fulfilled, was going to occasion a product. The design was to react or to bring together in physics, we call it, um, that's fusion, right? Fission is pulling apart. So fusion. So if you fuse together the image of God and the likeness of God, like in a reactor, what you will produce is dominion, a kingly reign. If you fuse together the image and the likeness of God, what will come out of it? is at the administration of authority authority so strong that nothing can refute it and that advertises one of our primary areas of warfare that the enemy may not be able to subvert in the day that the believers will not be and i say that authoritatively more so because of the cross will not be able to subvert any one of us when we begin to administer the authority as of the Christ. His labor, however, is to ensure that the expression of the image and the likeness of God is fractured. And that's what he did to Adam. He could not do anything to the image, so what he ensured was that Adam allowed another software to be installed in the image. Adam opened the gate by disobedience onto another installation called dead. So you you find out that, like I've said, that the image of God has how many assignments, basically? Eh? How many? The image of God has three assignments. One is that it is by the image of God that you can contact God. Two, it is by the image of God that you can contain God. Three, it is by the image of God that you can dispense God. So, one is to do what? Because I look like David, physically, I can touch him. When you watch movies, you find out that spirits cannot touch man. If, if the movie is a sensible one, if a spirit wants to slap you, his hand will pass through you. Now, there are things that spirits can do to gain tangibility. Are you with me? But normally they are not. So it's possible to be walking and something walks in and walks out and continues moving. And you don't even know. But there are classes of spirits that can occasion tangibility. So that you are walking and you knew you walked into an object. Um, but you, don't, you can't see it. Are you with me? You find out that when man fell, like I'm saying now. God could no longer dwell in man. And so there was a search for a house 
for God. And because he pleased God to dwell in the earth, in Exodus chapter 25, he told Moses to tell the people to build him a sanctuary. I can't live in you, but I want to be here. And I don't want to be a roaming spirit. So can you put together something? That's Exodus 25, 8, right? Good. Put together something that looks like the original place in which I dwelt with you. And I will be there. But you'll find out that the end of that sanctuary was actually a man. For in John chapter 14, Jesus called himself by a name that God had been waiting for. He called himself my father's house. Are you with me? So that was a challenge that God had because when man fell, the image was tampered with. And the way the image was tampered with was that another kind of likeness called death. Death means separation from God in that case began to work. So, if you put a virus in, inside a computer, the computer can still turn on. When the day the virus comes in, it won't affect your ability to put it on. It will first attack some of your files so that you typed a project and your project is, uh, is, is 92 pages. And when you came back, you see that there's a file extension to your project. It was a Microsoft Word document but now he asks that why B and C. And if you click it, you'll find out that there are many X's and O's inside your pro That's the way your new project looks. And if you don't have a smart person to solve it, you will need to start again. Ah, but this computer still came on now. Leave the virus inside it. After a while, it will begin to affect some major things and then the computer will be dead. It meant that that computer died by dying. Are you with me? So when God told Adam, in the day that you eat of the fruit of this tree, you shall surely die. The expansion of surely die is in dying, you will die. So Abraham's, Adam's separation from God was not instant. There was still an aspect of his existence or of the functions of the image that was active. One, Adam could no longer dispense God because he could no longer represent him. Two, Adam could no longer contain God, but Adam could contact God. Because when God came, he said, Adam, Adam, where are thou? Did Adam hear or not? He heard, so that's contact. It's on that strength that a non-believer can hear from God. You got saved because in your dying state, God left that aspect of you to be able to relate with him. So there are people who got saved without a man preaching to them. It was God that met them. Because even in their dying state, they could still contact. Are you with me? That's not where I'm going. Where I'm going is if you react the two together, what you produce is dominion. And then the Bible now shows us three or four different layers. Well, three, basically the earth, the sea, and the air. As to give us a picture of the spheres over which man had dominion in the earth. So from Genesis 1.26, the scope of man's dominion is the earth. If something comes to attack from the air, man can shut it down. If something is projected from the waters, man can shut it down. Because the head, as by design for the water bodies, is not a mermaid. You need to listen well and listen again to the sermon. I'm trying to combine like 10 sermons in one because of the urgency. You heard of a mermaid before? Yeah. A mermaid, they say it's a fable, but they are real. When you labor long, you will not block one. Uh, I've had all those experiences. I've been in Obomosho for a while. So I had a, one of the strongest gates in our city here is a water body. And the water body, if you pray long, the mermaid there will flash you. But you see, a mermaid is an illegal being. Because in the day that God gave 
headship to the sea. Who was the head? Fish. Not mermaid. It means a ma the mermaid is an impostor. But the fish does not have capacity to suck a mermaid. That's what man uses to minion for. To reestablish the headship of fish is man's assignment. Are you with me? So if as a teacher you put a class captain and the one big noise maker at the back says if you write name of noise maker again you're in trouble. It's me that will be writing now. If the teacher has dominion, the teacher will say, boy, go back to your seat. This is my class captain. It means the projections at the sea um, from these beings is largely due to the fact that those who were given protectorate rights over the sea have gone to sleep. Because dominion is responsibility. I call it kingly rule. Now, in the air, in the air, I, I hear that there are spirits that fly in the air. And it, you will live long you, if you stay true to Jesus. Your life will attract some of them. Even if you don't fight them. Uh, you don't know the power of a man who is consistent with Jesus. He's like, he's like, an, he's like an improvised explosive device. Satan knows one day he will explode. Because even if you are minding your business, as long as you are progressively being conformed to the image of the Christ, your life becomes a gift to God. And in the day God wants to use a man, he will likely come to the man who is Christ's more, uh, most look-alike in the territory. Are you with me? Good. So, he knows that you will soon be deployed as a weapon. That this is for some of our brethren who go to Europe. I've gotten Europe, the US. Many of them will say beings have started visiting them. It's because in modern day Europe, if you consistently pray two hours every day, if you do it for three months, you'll be attacked. Yes. You don't need to pray about the territory. You're just praying, Jesus, I want to be like you. If you do it two, two hours every day, consistently for two to three months, you'll be attacked because the territory understands that what you are becoming is a gate that God can come through. So maybe you are in 100 level and you found a consistent prayer life. The day God wants to come, he's likely going to use your altar because without an altar, spirits cannot come. Are you with me? An altar is a spirit gate. So because you have raised an altar, when the dark side begins to see that, Kai, this altar, want to lay a foundation, gate bell, want to, want to, want to, that's how they make gate. Ah, want to raw concrete, see, maybe you've sustained by mercy two months. Ah, want to lock, well, that's it, want him, want him, journey more. You know, once the gate is complete, the one that you have engaged will have the legitimacy of entrance so they can, they can attack you. The call is not to be afraid of the attacks. That's our life. That's our life. I was one of our ministry sons in the Lord um, on, on Friday and then Brother Genesis and then another one came, Andrew, and was telling me, I said, you've been laboring in the lorry here. He said, yes, daddy. I've been laboring with a few people. We pray on Thursday. We pray on Saturday. He said, but that Thursday, I'm the only one that comes now. I said, what happened? He said, one night, I was attacked. And my right hand was paralyzed for a while. He said, but is your hand good? And I said, yes. He said, so people don't come on Thursday again. <laughs> uh, he doesn't send us without following us. If you watch wrestling, if you slap somebody in wrestling, they slap you back. Are you with me? The person who wins is not the one that didn't get a slap. The person who wins is the one whose back did not remain on the ground when they started counting. Sometimes they count one, two, and if there's a ring around, you quickly put your leg on the ring, then the referee will do like this. We have endured many of these kind of things. Sometimes you can't even lift your whole back 
you just swing your arm up like that then the fight to continue the end of the fight is that satan lost it's not that he will lose he lost because the end was written before it began that's the confidence so we are fighting from the standpoint of one who is already victorious it has happened in the spirit we are just seeking to establish it in time and that's the shape of all the life's battles that a Christian will ever have. This is the prolific teaching ministry of Apostle Tulu Agola, the lead pastor of His Worship Christian Network. Brace yourself for an experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode.